All right, I want to show you something I've been doing here. I am currently working with the Marshmallow D-Mat Spray, which you're supposed to shake really, really, really well. Now, one thing about it that the manufacturer and I are working with, it, it I don't like the spray bottle that it comes in. It puts out a stream. But it is allowing me to get the mats out of, this is my own dog, out of him very easily. What I did was we bathed him, so we were working on clean, wet hair. Sprayed him with this, and it's been sitting for about 10 minutes because I've been dealing with customers and other things. But I've already brushed all of this out. Now this is a 12-year-old sick Wheaton. He has arthritis. He um, has had cancer twice, so... I'm not necessarily going to demat this whole dog, but I want to show you how easy this is to do. It's my old man. He hates being short. It makes him very cold, so we're trying to save some hair. Over Christmas, he got more matted than normal. And you can see how bad it is through here. But watch what happens. The marshmallow demat, like I said, it's been sitting on him for about 10 minutes. And you can see how extensive the mats are in the back end here and on his legs. This is just a regular Tougher Than Tangles orange base slicker brush. I think it's a firm. I'm not 100% sure. I just grabbed the first one I could find today. And if you'll notice, I'm not brushing yet the skin. I've got my fingers behind the mat and I'm pulling it away from the skin to brush it out. You can hear the mats. And you can also hear when they're no longer there. Now, anything underneath them, I am going to shave out. I'm just trying to avoid shaving him extensively because of his age and because of his arthritis. I feel like he needs to have some hair. It's my fault for letting him get matted, but if this was hurting him, I also would not be doing it. pick it apart. We're going to work from the smaller parts of the mats and up. While I'm working underneath here, it's not matted underneath that mat. We're going to pull that mat apart like that. Same thing here. Again, my fingers are under it, so I'm not brushing at the skin. And this batting is not at the skin. It's further up on the hair. And then the rest of it, just the little bits of it like that, are coming out when I pull. Oh, I know. He hates it when you pull on anything. But as you can see, I just got this whole back leg done, for the most part, where I've needed it to be. This is a Liz Paul fine tooth comb, and it's going through him pretty well. Now, like I said, underneath here, I haven't gotten that. But you just saw me demat that entire section right there that was really pretty bad in just a couple of minutes. And there's no skin irritation at all. That's his skin pigment. He's a dark coated dog, dark skin dog. I've already done this part up here. It took me less than five minutes. It took me less than five minutes. Now when he's brushed out completely and dry, this should just be easy, easy, easy to finish dematting. Um, I just wanted to break up the most of them and the marshmallow spray gets slicker when it gets dry too. The nice thing about it is it's all plant extracts and there are no silicones in it. For those of you who don't like silicones, I don't happen to have a problem with silicones. But you'll notice too there's no hair loss. This is all we've gotten out of him. There's nothing coming out on the brush. Another thing I like to do with it is spray my brush after I get a little pad of hair in it and use it that way for brushing. And I have another client coming in right now, so I'm going to spray the other side and let him sit while I go talk to the client. Come back and finish it up. Pretty much get on the table. If this was a client's dog, I would still do this if the dog would tolerate it and charge 
Okay, like we were discussing um, before my client came in the door, I will take this Marshmallow D-Mat and spray it on the mats, which I did before I went out front to talk to her. And you can see how widely spread the mats are here on this hip. This has been sitting for about five minutes. I'm going to break it up with my fingers real quick. And again, this is spider web matting is what I call this. It's not to the skin, it's just surface. But if you split it up with your fingers and massage the D-mat in, it allows it to penetrate the mat and become really slippery. And I've already put some up in here too. Now underneath here, I'm going to shave out. But if I can brush it away from the skin just a little bit further, I won't have to go with a 7, I can go with a 4, which should make him more comfortable. Now, watch the mats simply brush right out. And again, remember, I'm not getting, there's no hair coming out. I'm not losing coat. I pick a section like this and I work it from the bottom up. Turn on this one. Thank you. And with him being an older arthritic dog, I figured he was the perfect one to show you this on because if it was painful in any way, he would be fighting me and he would be pulling away. And he isn't. So this cannot be uncomfortable for him. And like I said, underneath in here, I'm going to get out with the blade. I'm not going to try to brush that out. Many of you would have taken a 7F to that dog right then and there when you saw that back leg the way it was. But that quick a time, what, two minutes, three minutes tops? And look. Now this is all from underneath. I haven't gotten that yet. But as you can see, other than that, he's completely brushed out on that leg that quickly. And again, I didn't really come at the bottom, and it's going to come right out. And this is going to come right out. He's had several skin cancer tumors come up, and he's got another one right there. Because of his age, the vet does not want to do anything unless it ruptures, so we're just watching it. Now watch how easily these mats on his feet are combing out with a wide tooth comb. If you don't like to use a slipper brush on wet hair, you can use a comb to split the mats up as well, like I just did there. Less than a minute. The bottom part of his leg from the hop down is now dematted. And then I'll take this right here. And again, we're working from the bottom up. We're working from the bottom up and the outside in. And if it starts to become painful for him, I would stop. Again, I'm going to spray my brush because I need just a little more slip. I wouldn't spray the brush if you don't have a little bit of hair in it, but there's a little bit of undercoat in here because he has a little bit of undercoat. He's got a very unique coat. It's a cross between an American coat and an Irish coat, so it's a little wiry and a little dense. He's always had one of the easiest to maintain coats I've ever dealt with on a Wheaton. I know, buddy. He's just tired of standing here. It's not the brushing. He just wants to get down. My other dog's on the floor looking at him. He wants to get down and play. But, completely out. There's nothing left in that back leg. And that back leg took me, let's see how what the time is on the front, on the computer. Let's see, less than four minutes to demat an entire back leg on a soft-coated Wheaton while I'm talking to you. This is not matted at all. He wasn't matted here. He was just matted here. He's matted a little underneath, and he was matted in his chest and front legs. 
So, I mean, he's got some extensive matting, but less than 15 minutes of dematting and he's going to be done. And it's much better than shaving an older dog with all these health problems. Yes, sometimes it's the humane thing to do, but I consider these tangles more than knots because they're brushing out so easily. At any rate, there's your demo on how this works. And Kramer and I are going to get back to work. Oh, he doesn't love me right now. No. See, I just don't like to be groomed. See, that's the whole thing. I don't like to be groomed at all. Which is why he looks like he does right now. We took his fallen beard off a little while ago because of his age and just because he was not enjoying it. Kramer, say Happy New Year. Can you say Happy New Year to everybody? No? Okay. All right, and this is the same dog I was dematting in the other video. And this is an Utsumi comb that I just stole from Billy, and hopefully he won't kill me for that. But you can see, I can get that extra fine finishing comb through his coat completely and totally now in these areas that were so badly matted on that other video. I have not worked on this dog, but about 30 minutes tops, he is completely dry. I do still have to groom him. But you can see he's not matted because I'm getting the Yutsumi through him with no problem. He looks great. He smells really good. And all of those mats are out.